everybody back with another video and in this video I'm gonna be doing some coyote hunting um the spot we're in today is a new spot um, me and Paul checked it out one other time we were small game hunting um, but haven't seen any coyote tracks yet this is a bunch of deer tracks um, we got a big snow fall last or yesterday and um, we're just dealing with this thick snow so but today I got the secret weapon I got my white ghillie suit and, um, I think I got it a few years back I just never got to use it until now but I got the lucky duck call I got the 243 the AR is still out of commission right now. Just haven't had a chance to get it sighted in. But look at all this cover. This is covered in snow. There is a field right up here. I'm gonna put the the uh, call down in. And there's like a little hillside, I think. If I remember correctly. I'm gonna post up in there with a call or. I'm gonna post up in there everything. But I haven't seen any tracks yet. I'm set up here. I'm kinda of hidden back a little bit in this brush. I couldn't I didn't want to get too far from the from the uh, deep brush. Let's just set up right down there. I can see all that. And if I hear something come I can turn. But I'm gonna run this run for about ten minutes. And then uh, shut it off and let it sit but right now I'm using a baby rabbit in this dress I have it not too loud it's starting off soft but um hopefully I can get something going I'm gonna have the head cam on for the GoPro so if I get anything hopefully I can get it captured and shot so uh, stay tuned <clears throat> okay, so this spot will be best. Um, there's a field up this road, and it opens up pretty good. I think I'm gonna go up there and spot up. Uh, on a spot up there. Um, I didn't hear no barking, no yipping, no howling or anything. Um, ran the baby rabbit for about 10 minutes I didn't hear anything and I let it sit for about six or seven minutes and I had a, a cottontail going off or cottontail distress going off for about eight or ten minutes I didn't hear anything but I don't know what's up that road we didn't go that way if we go up this way it takes us to a uh, that field. So I'm not seeing tracks though. I'm seeing a lot of deer tracks. So um, I'm gonna go up here and post up for a bit. And and after that, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might just uh, dip out of here because you don't really want to hunt these stands, as you call them, for uh, for too long. You want to be in here within an hour, hour and a half. And then you just want to get out. Yeah. There's this paw pads. There's a good one. It's a big coyote in here. I would say it's just a regular dog, but I don't see anybody, uh, any human tracks. So there's just a big coyote in here running around. 
right here. And this pile. Put some right here. There's a big field run down that way. It's all open up there. And I think that road I was on connects up there. So. up I can see him he can't really see me I got a whole view of this of this field okay um so I got the call to do it about two minutes or so and there's already two barking behind me almost yipping a little bit a little bit of barking um I know there's a tram on the other side of this woods that goes uh, parallel with me facing that way. But um, they don't sound too far away. I think they're going to come up on that side. Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Let this run for about 10 minutes again. And I'm going to set for that. No, I saw 10 minutes. They're getting close. All right, I'm going to put the camera down. Hopefully, I can get these guys on camera for you guys. But, um, they're close. They're probably about 300 yards out. I just got to get them in. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, I can get one for you guys on camera. All right, so. There's still one barking behind me, but there's one down to my left. And there's a tram ride that comes out from that bottom. And I might have just saw something move on the road. I'm not sure. Right now I got a female how going. I'm seeing if uh, that'll draw them in. They'll respond with a little bit of bark into it. But I still think that one up bottom is still interesting. I think he's coming in. He's just working his way slowly. I think I'm gonna try and use uh the pup distress. I think that that might just do something too. Because if that one's that close, it might just come in for him. <clears throat> this is where I last heard that dog. As I was walking, I could hear the one barking back up that way. But this one was down here. I haven't heard anything. I've been looking for tracks. There's some tracks back there, but I can't tell what they were. But I was, I was up there. But I am packing out now. I'm just doing a little bit of scouting. But next time, if I come back here again, next weekend or something, I'm gonna hop on the tram road on the other side of this wood line. And I'm gonna set up in there. These are deer tracks there. One coyote in here running. We saw the tracks on that walkway there. And his tracks took up over that way and there's a road that connects to even a much bigger field on that side so but i'm gonna head back to the house and 
I'm going to charge up the batteries again. And I think me and Paul are going back out to the spot we went to last weekend. But we know where they're where they're setting up at the dogs. So we can at least get within the area again of them. Hopefully they're there when we um set up. But they do run dogs where they we were setting up. So hopefully they're not running them today if they're there. That would mess everything up. that way. Is there a road here? Mm. Yeah, I know I got there. I was like, oh, I have false sticks. <laughs> I figured something would try sneaking around, but I'm never sitting over on this side. I don't know. I didn't hear anything yet. I don't think they're going to be over there because that wind's blowing this way and that's going to be in their face. This gas line up here and... <coughs> they might be over here somewhere. There's a group of coyotes about, I don't know, 300 yards out maybe to my left. They're howling. I've been howling back at them with the call to uh, <clears throat> see if I can get them to come in. But they're close. There's at least two or three of them. I'm trying to see if I can get them to come in. 
stress seem to get him fired up a little bit. When I, I had it on a coyote fight, and then I turned it off and let it sit for a minute, and I had it in a pop distress. And it played for about five minutes, and I shut it off. I heard barking way over there. All of a sudden, two or three just started howling and barking and going crazy. Okay, yeah, because I thought it was just that. Mm-mm. But it sounded like they were just on the other side of this wood line there. There's a big open field. But... We're getting closer. Well, I thought that, that if they would be down, I figured that's why I sat down there. If they tried circling back up and around, but mm. up by the field was the way to go. And they started howling. I figured I'd howl back at them. They didn't seem to do anything after that. Might have scared them. Might have. We learn better for next time. Mm hmm. Freaking hoping for one to just pop out on that. I thought you were gonna put that back down there. I thought about it and I was like, well, if I sit up here, the sound can travel that way too. But it sounded like you were right on top of me. <laughs> Getting closer every single time. 